could ask them, you know. I'm doing all right, but I could ask them for a few quid, maybe. Are you from the Missionaries of Charity? No. So, Enver Toxia was a communist dictator here from the 60s up until the 80s. Hello from Tirana, the capital of Albania. I'm just walking up the main street here. It's the Bogu Boulevard. I'm walking towards the main square here called the Skanderbeg Square. One of the first things you notice when you come to Tirana is all the construction going on. Skyscrapers everywhere. Over there. Albania University behind me here. It's called UFO. I was only listening to Joe Rogan last night talking about UFOs. So the population of Tirana is approximately 400,000. The, the currency is Albanian lek. They also take euros, but it's advised to just use the local currency as you can get ripped off using the euro. One euro equals 122 Albanian lek. So what happens is if, you, if they say, okay, it's 100 lek, say, oh, okay, or one euro, so then you know you're losing your few percent there. The Skanderbeg Square, the main square here in Tirana. More building going on. This is the National History Museum here. And also under some kind of renovation. You know how it is traveling, like, even though COVID is almost gone, it's everywhere decided, all these cities decided to renovate everything. But um, I do know that this museum uh, dates back to prehistoric times, right up through the really dark communist times here, and then the anti-communist, the, the, the uprisings here, yeah, in the 90s. So if you are coming, it's probably worth going in there. It's like an opera house there, all right. Massive Albanian flag. It looks like he's like demanding money from the, the sisters, as they call themselves. It's the same uh, outfit as Mother Teresa wore, yeah? There is a Mother Teresa park here that I might just get to see. There's a merry-go-round. A two-story merry-go-round. And look at that really cool skyscraper behind it. Now that's some interesting, that's an interesting design that is. They're trying to modernize the city, I see. All these cool buildings popping up. Right, I'm going in. Oh, shite. Ah, it's gone through me, runners. That was not wise. Some facts about Tirana. So it's between 60 and 70% Muslim and the rest is made up of Orthodox Catholics. Um, I think you could throw a few gypsies in there as well. I've seen a few hanging around. So Skanderbeg here, he was a military uh, commander and he led a rebellion against the Ottoman Empire. I think they've mixed feelings with the Ottomans around here, especially Muslims, because you know in Turkey they celebrate the Ottoman Empire, like it's everywhere you look. But then in the other uh, Orthodox countries in the Balkans, they despise the Ottoman Empire and it's all about fighting and getting rid of a little bit like Ireland trying to get rid of the English. 800 years we put up with that, you know. So um, here it was, I think, 500 years in the Balkans area. Let's go over to see this mosque. The Etahem Bay Mosque. There's a lad working. I'll give him a hand, but I'm on holidays. It's a clock tower there. 
Let's get out of the sun. As you can see, more construction, more buildings going up. As I said, everywhere you look around the city centre, you see all these buildings going up. Just as you saw in Montenegro. Now, this was closed all throughout communism. Communism fell here in like 1989. So then in 1991, people started coming here again without authority, like it was not supposed to be opened. But about 10,000 people showed up and um, the authorities did not intervene. So a bit of history here. It's a very nice artwork. It only has one minaret. The, the ladies here wearing the Mother Teresa outfit or the Missionaries of Charity was the name of her, uh, her sect. So I guess these ladies must be just going around giving people money. So I mean, I could ask them, you know, I'm doing all right, but I could ask them for a few quid maybe. Are you from the Missionaries of Charity? No? She is. Haha, <laughs> English. <laughs> she smiled, no, she just meant no English. Talk to her. I'm not hanging around. So for anyone that doesn't um, understand humour, I was joking, I wasn't going to ask them for money, because there are some people that really don't get these things. Let's walk through a little park here. Parku Europa. So the, the Europe Park. Another park here. This park in front of me is called Youth Park. Oh, poor fella. I see a lot of signatures there. I've, I don't know what they are. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to research what the signatures or whose signatures they are, but it is nice all the same. So this is actually the Regency Casino. Let's go through. I'm not putting any bets on today, no. Again, the Balkans, they love their betting. They love their casinos, even here in a majority Muslim country. Nice bar. Now crossing the Lana River and making my way to the pyramids of Tirana. And there it is over there under, under construction. They're rebuilding it. So what they're doing is, is a communist era building. They're re-modifying it. They're building it, rebuilding it, in it with a very modern, stylish look. That will just be something nice to look at in the city here. Um, can't see anything here. I'll see it later on the video, I suppose. Needless to say, Balkans full of gorgeous women, like the rest of the Balkan countries. Albania's not in the EU, but you do see this EU flag around. I'm sure they'd love to be in the EU, and they will be one day. This is their presidential office. It was built by the Russians as their future embassy. And when Albania broke ties with Russia, they confiscated the building. And later they found tunnels, huge tunnels underground that were meant to serve as uh, for spying. So basically the Russians intended on spying on the Albanian government. Well, what would you expect from the Russians? But yeah, it's nice. Even though they call it Albania's White House, the president doesn't actually live here. Just the office. It's really nice around here. So across the road from the presidential office, you have the Palace of Congresses. Um, again, originally built by the communists as a, as a show of power and all that nonsense. But um, today used as like a concert hall, used for festivals, events, trade fairs. More, wow, more interesting buildings over here. Look at this, very interesting. So it's the Air Albania Stadium. It's a football stadium. And this is where Albania played our World Cup qualifiers and the European Cup qualifiers. Very nice. Very interesting the way it goes up so tall. Like I thought that was just a skyscraper building. And what's this? 
What's this monstrosity right here? It's well rusted. I've seen a lot of interesting architecture here in Tirana. Which is great. Like, I love it. I love the, uh, the open-mindedness. The balls to do something different. There's a little show going on here later. I'll tell you what they're not showing. They're probably not showing the new Taken movie with Liam Neeson. If you watch those films, they give Alb Albania a very bad, a bad look because he's basically fighting Albanian um, mafia, you know? Um, so, you know, the Hollywood stereotypes of a lot of countries, people really do buy into it and they think it's dangerous to come to these places. And it's not, well, I've been all around the Balkans now. I've only one or two countries left and I've been to all the Balkan uh, countries. And <laughs> I never felt danger once, not once. I'd feel more danger walking through Dublin at nine o'clock at night in the city centre than I would in any of these places. Very safe, police all over the place. People are friendly. Loads of construction going on over here as well. The Polytechnic University of Tirana. These huge squares, you see them in all these former communist countries. Check out the white pigeons. Are they doves? I'm just entering the Grand Park of Tirana, the man-made park. I want to be here. Hey, this way maybe. So 1939 to 1945, the men in whose memory these headstones have been erected gave their lives in Albania and are buried near this spot. Their glory shall not be blotted out. Very nice. Nice cafe restaurant here in the middle of the park. Bar, it's got a bar as well. Let's see Jägermeister on the shelf there. Yeah. Bit early for that. Uh, just making my way down to the man made lake. So the park was very nice, definitely worth a visit. Um, now I'm going back towards the city centre to see the Bunker Museum, or at least to see some bunkers. <laughs> Poor lads are having a nightmare. There's six of them, they don't need me. So you see all this traffic. This is because of that car, what the lads were trying to move. That car parked too far onto the road and blocked everyone else. So they're literally lifting it off, um, off, the, off the road. Oh, look at that, all because of one stupid car. Still in the city center, but off the main street. More everyday streets of Tirana. You're sticking to the main street and the square and all that. You're not seeing the everyday life, are you? So, I was worth going back a different direction. Different streets, see something new. KFC. That's the first American franchise or the first chain restaurant that I've seen here in uh, Tirana. I don't need to have any McDonald's at all, or Burger King, or Starbucks. And I'm not complaining. Ooh. 
Yummy. See that ice cream? I'll try and get my hands on one of them today. Back over the Lana River. I do not know what the mushroom reference is, but um, I have all these books lined out here and it doesn't seem to be anyone standing around watching. I know there's a place in Iraq where they leave all the books out and they said they don't worry about anyone stealing books because the person who reads books doesn't steal. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. More books. A bunker at last. This bunker has been turned into a museum. I don't have time to go in. I'll just tell you a little bit of the story. Um, so Enver Hoxia was a communist dictator here from the 60s up until the 80s. He was deranged, he was paranoid. He always believed Albania was gonna be under attack any moment. Let's wipe this. <laughs> um, so he built these bunkers all over the country. And here's one of them right here in the city center that's been turned into a museum. I already know a bit of the story and I don't have much time, so I'm not gonna go inside. But um, yeah, if you're coming to Albania, you need to look out for these bunk bunkers. The policy of the time, it went on for like two decades. It was called bunkerization policy. And um, that's the only one I've seen. Yeah, we're going out of the city. I'll be looking for more from the bus. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe or just like the video. Um, if you have any thoughts, any comments, just leave a comment there. Tell me, did I get it completely wrong? My few hours here. Um, is Tirana what you expected? I want to end the video with saying any interactions I had with Albanian people going into shops and that, I haven't caught any of it on video, but the interactions were so good. People are so friendly. Um, most people, anyone I came across could speak some English. So uh, yeah, it's a friendly city. So if you have any worries or anything coming here, I think you're in for a big surprise. That the people are really, really nice. And unfortunately, I didn't capture any conversations on video, but you know, you can't video everything. See the cop on his little scooter? So Tirana, Albania nightlife. I'm gonna check out Medusa's Irish pub. I'm gonna meet my Scottish friend here, a Scottish lad I met on the bus coming here from Montenegro. Here we go, Medusa's Irish pub. Medusa's must be Albanian from Murphy's. Hey! Hey, hey, bud. Talking to the camera. Some scotch, mate. <laughs> All right. What's the crack? So I got myself a Sierra Nevada American beer. It was 450 lek, which is about three euros and 69 cents. That's very expensive Albanian standards. You, you could be paying like 150 to two euros here, really. <laughs> but it's, it is a nice, beautiful pub. I'm gonna walk around for a second. Loads of tellies. Yeah, I'm honestly, Bianca. How are you doing? They're very American style. With all the colors. It's a massive spot. So we left the Irish pub, just walking down this road here. It's just all pubs and restaurants. Great spot. Let's see what we can find. Look at this place. It's a very trendy area. I have to find out the name of the street. 